Hello, my name is Alfredo and welcome back to this channel in which we can talk about vintage sunglasses. Today I want to present you a very special frame of Casal which is the Casal 955 and I mentioned this frame before when I was doing my video of the Casal 951 and why it was that because this model and the Casal 951 they share some similarities but you will see that some difference uh, start when you start looking at, at the frame for example you will see that this one it, it is a little bit more square or rectangular versus the other model uh, this one it is also a large size because the size of this part of the frame it is 140 millimeters and the size of the temple is 120 millimeters but you need to consider this part which adds more length uh, to the part of the temple and the size of this lens it is between 64 65 millimeters and uh, you will see also some similarities with the Casal 951 the Casal 955 also has the side shields you will find this part in here um, and I think that those are like the main things that they share in similarities with the Casal 951 but this one, the Casal 955, you will see the difference compared to the other model for example you will see here this shape in here it is a little bit more square, the shape uh, here is a little bit more oval and I think that it looks more formal and it, it is a frame that you can use um, maybe not for uh, sport reasons the Casal 951 I think that you can wear it also with any type of clothes but that one in particular uh, it was thinking more for like a sport use but well uh, as many other models of Casal you have different combination of colors and maybe a certain model of that one can look more sp uh, sportive in, in some colors but it doesn't look that way uh, in other colors here for example I have the gold version but this one also has uh, a lot of versions because uh, this one well it, it is a gold one as you can see it has gold details in here in this part of the frame also in this part and in here you will also find that the side shield is gold and the brown color in here it make it uh, looks better I think the gold version but you will find also this model in color black there is also like a violet uh, version or like a lila version <laughs> and there is also a white version and I'm missing another, another color but um, those aren't the colors that I remember at this moment I will say that this model it, it looks better for a uh, middle size or large size uh, heads or faces uh, in a small face I, I have seen photos of people wearing this with a small face and it looks huge it looks huge this frame so that's why I will recommend to use uh, this frame if you have maybe between a middle or large size head uh, in my case um, I think that it looks uh, good I particularly don't wear it a lot, uh, I have to admit that, but I, I really like the shape of this one, so probably I will wear it more, more often. And as you can see, it is like a very uh, beautiful frame, and when you wear it uh, under the sun, it looks awesome. So I hope that you liked today's video, and I will continue showing more uh, frames for my collection. And I hope that you can find uh, beautiful frames and rare frames uh, or rare sunglasses in your journey of collecting vintage sunglasses. So I hope that you are doing well and I see you in the next episode. So take care and see you later.